In order to edit artwork, you'll first need to be able to select it. Now there are a lot of methods for selecting, and in this video you'll explore a number of them, including outline mode, select similar, and more. With the latest version of Illustrator CC open, open this practice file from the downloadable practice files for this tutorial so you can follow along. And to make sure that you can see everything in your document, choose View, Fit All in Window. Now to start, you'll select some artwork and you'll change its color. The circles on this cake and the stripes need to be a different color. So with the selection tool selected, click one of the circles. Now in order to select the other circles and other shapes that are the same fill color like this burgundy, you can use the select same commands. To do that, choose select, same, and you can see a number of options here for selecting similar artwork. Choose fill color. All objects with that same fill color are now selected, even these shapes. Now to deselect these shapes, press shift and click each one of the confetti shapes to remove them from the selection. And also shift click this shape too to remove it from the selection as well. Now to change the color of the selected shapes, click fill in the properties panel and change it to this red. There, that looks better. Now next, the cake icing right here needs to be reshaped a little bit. To do that, you'll select a series of anchor points. So double click the icing shape. This enters isolation mode so you can focus on just that artwork without selecting other content. Then select the direct selection tool in the tools panel on the left, and you should now see all of the anchor points that make up that shape. To select just a few of the anchor points so you can reshape this artwork, select the lasso tool on the left, and then press and drag around just these anchor points to select them. Now to switch back to the direct selection tool so you can actually drag these anchor points, press the letter A. Drag one of the points to move them all. When you're finished, press escape to exit isolation mode. Another method of selecting which can make life easier is to work in outline mode. Choose View, Outline, so that you can only see the outlines of the artwork. This can make it easier to select content behind other content or even drag to make a selection, for instance. Now these circles down here need to be selected so they can be transformed. So select the selection tool in the tools panel. And starting in a blank area, drag across these circles to select them. Now you'll probably also select this larger shape here. To deselect this shape, you can press the shift key and click the edge of the shape. There. So that you can see the color fills again, choose View, GPU Preview. Now to resize these circles, press the Shift key to resize them proportionally and drag a corner to make them a little bit larger to fill the space better. Release the mouse button and then the key. To deselect them, click in a blank area. Now another way to make selections is by using the Layers panel on the right. Next, you'll select one of the candles at the top of the cake and change its size. So with the selection tool selected, click to select the center candle on the cake. Now to see where it is in the layers panel, click the layers panel tab to show it. Then click the locate object button at the bottom of the panel. This actually reveals the selected artwork in the layers panel. You can see that it's a group of objects. Now you may want to drag the left edge of the layers panel to the left so that you can see more of the names. To zoom into the candle on the artboard, press Command and Plus on Mac OS or Control and Plus on Windows several times. In the Layers panel, to select just the yellow flame artwork in the group, click the Selection column on the right here. With the flame selected, drag the top handle up so you can resize it. Okay, to deselect everything, choose Select, Deselect, then so you can see all the artwork again, choose View, Fit Artboard in Window. There really are a lot of tools and methods for selecting artwork in Illustrator, and the more ways to select that you know, the easier it'll be to edit artwork later on. You can save this practice file by choosing File, Save, and then close it.